Mute. Hi, Seekers. I'm bored. <laughs> so you're going to hang out with me. So there's that. Or don't. Nobody's forcing you. Low sodium. <gasps> Look at these pita chips. I went shopping because I had to. I had to get my hubby some dinner. He'll be home soon. And I got a family member sitting in the ER with a broken foot. I'm waiting for that phone call. This is Wisconsin. Has anybody heard of Merck's? Established in 1950. Sharp cheddar. Cheese spread. Anyone? I've never heard of it. I'm about to tear it up, though. Nobody's getting notifications on YouTube, so if everybody's complaining, it's happening to everybody. Live stream notifications. YouTube might be doing something different. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you, man. When you eat things that are, like, more natural than processed, you know it. Your taste buds know it. Your body knows it. Don't judge me because this, this, this is a staple. I can't help it. I'll show you. Okay, so these are unbleached, non-bromated wheat flour, free from chemical treatment, plain pitas, low sodium. This is Merck's 1950 Wisconsin cheese spread made with real sharp cheddar. I don't know, Frosty the home man. I'm sitting here watching... <laughs> The 24-hour live. It's on Source Global News. Iran, Syria, Ashdod, Elat, Haifa, Jerusalem, Haifa again, Ramallah, Israel, Tel Aviv. Live. I don't know. Apparently, according to the Wall Street Journal, I think the Wall Street Journal, um, I just started, Anna, but yeah, there's a thing going on with YouTube. People are not getting notified of live streams. We don't know why, but many people are complaining. They, when they do something different to YouTube, we always, something glitches. I know. I know Frosty, the whole man. Apparently, we are moving warships. Biden told Iran, Iran, don't. He told them, don't. Now, people are like, well, they threatened this last week. Well, it was Ramadan. And then Eid just ended. Oh, thank you, Diamond Paw. Sorry, but I'm going to eat my snack because this is like amazing. Ah, the software update this morning on YouTube. It'll have you all glitching, people. It's going to have you all glitching. It always happens. It's some, Sometimes it's the chat. Won't show up. It's always something. So let's see what people are saying in the chat of the live, the live stream, the 24-hour live stream. So far, they're just kind of talking. Someone said, I'm going to bed. It's 8.26 in the UK, 1 a.m., wherever that is. So, I don't know. I have no idea what's going to happen. 
But if you don't think Iran is going to retaliate on Israel, and then we're going to do what? We're going to get involved? That puts us in a very precarious situation, does it not, people? People think it's going to happen within 24 to 48 hours, and that was yesterday. Because Eid ended. You don't prepare. A country doesn't prepare to do something and go, ah, never mind. Do they? God, these are good. Hello, TC. What do you guys think? I mean, I feel bad for everybody. Everybody in this situation, because you know innocent lives are going to pay the price for all of it. And here's the thing. I think how I feel. I feel like I feel like Netanyahu's gonna expect us to get involved. Do you? Nobody's even talking to me. What the hell did I go live for? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I cracked myself up. I mean, this is a big deal. What do you guys even think? I thought we'd hang out and just like bounce ideas off each other. Everybody's putting scripture in the chat. So what did this person say? Into positions off the coast of Israel and in the Northern Red Sea in order to provide protection to the U.S. and allied forces from Iranian attack. The repositioning reportedly comes after the information. What does that mean? And then somebody else said that according to the... Let's see. Okay, here. The U.S. is rushing warships into position to protect Israel and American forces in the region in case of Iranian, Iranian attack. The Wall Street Journal reports... We get involved. I mean, here's the thing I've learned. First of all, we're in a game of risk at this point, right? But here's what I've learned. He's definitely banking on the U.S. coming in right. And according to the Wall Street Journal, uh, the U.S. is rushing warships into position to protect Israel. No matter what way you slice this, this is not good. Everyone involved, there is going to be collateral damage of innocent people. They're just trying to live their life. And somebody goes, I can feel this war stirring. So can I. Can you guys? Well, I think, I don't know if it'll be more than the U.S. You never know who's going to. Coward out. I don't know. I have no idea. I know that this is the closest we have ever been to WW3. This is on the doorstep. It just depends on if the leaders... You know... Uh, have regard for what what can end up happening out of this whole ordeal.
This is crazy. This is crazy. Should we be buying water and supplies? I don't know, but I'm I'm good. I got 20 pounds of dog food. At all times, I have 20 pounds of dog food, cases of water, and enough canned goods. I could eat like a hobo under the railroad tracks for years. I don't know, Jamie. We're we're on a watch. 24 hours. On the Source Global News. We've got all of it. Tel Aviv, Israel, we got it all. Live cameras. And it's nighttime. And like I said, Eid ended on the 10th, right? That was the last day of Eid. People thought it was going to happen yesterday. Now we're at the 24 hour going into the 48 hour, which is where they're predicting that all this was is going to pop off. I don't know. I just know we're, well, I'm watching a live stream. And, and now they're saying like, if we get involved, that we're, we're going to be part of the problem, not the solution. I'd eat dog food too if I had to. Gal, you making chicken noodle soup? Yum, yum, yum. It feels like 2001 when I tried to drive looking up at the sky. Oh, <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know. We're on, you know, Iran attacking Israel watch. And according to the Wall Street Journal, we are rushing, the U.S. is rushing warships to protect Israel, which is not our fight in my opinion. And I feel like, cause we already know, people are positioned all over the world in a sleeper kind of way. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm not comfortable with any of this. None of this. And not only that, did you guys realize yesterday, um, allegedly, Iran stopped all flights, all flights in and out. Somebody in the chat said, um, somebody said, I woke up with a heavy feeling today. I, I, I did too after all the things, you know. And then this other person says, the U.S. is sending troops to help Israel, but the current government of America... Oh, no, that's not the one. Uh, another one said, the Syrian Observatory. Iranian... This is from the Syrian Observatory. Iranian factions reorganized their deployment and stopped the public movements of their leaders. What would that mean? What would that mean? If they stop the public movements of their leaders, like, are they in hiding? <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Listen, Chantal's not going anywhere for a while. So they're saying a few hours ago, 40 rockets were shot down on the Lebanon border. I don't have a bunker. My bunker is my van. Like, bye. <laughs> right? Bye. Allegedly, North Israel is under attack right now. Where would that be? Where would that be? Where would that be?
Oh, it's on X. Okay. Because I'm watching live. And, you know, it's nighttime. There's Israel Zafet, Safed, Tel Aviv. Down here, we got Tehran. We've got Damascus, Syria. It's nighttime in the Middle East. And we've got quiet. Right now, I mean, people are driving around in Tel Aviv. Aliens are coming. Let them. They're already here. What do you mean they're coming? Hi, Nancy. Let them. Let's, you know what I mean? This movie's about to go like 4K. I'm eating um, unbleached, non-bromated wheat flour pita, low sodium, and this amazing Wisconsin Merck's sharp cheddar. Whoa, made with real cheese. So good. Let's see, only 100 calories per two tablespoons. She needs to stay out of that. Oh, you guys still talking about foodie? Foodie's becoming insignificant because people have moved on. They're moving on. They're done with the games, the shenanigans. Now, I'm going to follow it to the end, but I'm not going to sit around and go, well, you don't get any content if Chantal's not filming. I don't do that. That's nonsense. I mean, that, that literally says you've got nothing going on. I mean... You have no interest, like, possibly all of us being the target. You were born and raised in Wisconsin. You loved it? This is the first time I've ever had it. Merck. Must be their last name. You like NAL? You like NAL? N naked and laughing? I just find her to be disgusting. Like, all the stuff that comes out of her mouth about... Daughters and dads and whatever. She just nasty. She a nasty drunk. I'm not entertained by nasty drunks. That is the most insecure woman I've ever seen on this platform. And I have watched many. She makes she makes Chantal look like she has a PhD. Well, hello, Unicorn Blow. Okay. Come here. Come here. Come here. What's up? What's up, pup? My piglet. Love him. Tigsy, you are like a boss up in this house. He'll go back in the kitchen, just watch. Thank you, Joe. More van life, yes. Give Tiggs a carrot for World War Three. Listen, those dogs got 20 pounds of dog food. We gold. I got enough refried beans to blow a hole in the ozone. All right. I got packs of flour tortillas. I'll eat that shit put it on with a knife, roll it up, and eat it. Of course, I have a little propane stove. I have a little refrigerator for Max. We already put the uh, battery in there. Ready to go. Don't think I won't. I'll be hiding out in the woods with the squirrels. I'll even cover Max in a bunch of leaves. <laughs> I ain't even playing like that. Oh, my God. They did this whole thing. Listen, they like to freak you out, which is fun sometimes. And if you can't handle it, don't watch it. But anyway, they did this whole thing like the future look of the United States. Michigan doesn't even exist. It's like all the Great Lakes come together and there's like this little island 
And it ain't down here. It's up there in the north. Just a little island. That's all that's left of Michigan. I'm like, what? <laughs> From fault lines and shit. <laughs> and then, what else have they, what other fear-mongering shit did I watch? Um, hold on, let me think. <laughs> oh my God. This is the future look of the United States. I'm scared for war too. I gotta be honest. They hate us. They hate us. And they think we stick our nose into everything. Listen, we don't want them doing it. If you voted right now, listen to me, Adoran. If you vote, listen, if you voted right now, we would all say no. All us people just trying to live our lives. You know, do we gotta pay our taxes yet? Do we? I need to know. Do I need to file for an extension for six months till this plays out? Because that would be horrible. They'll come out and have a full bank account. They'll come out of hiding and have a full bank account. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, if you asked us, the, the civilians, the people struggling, right? Struggle's real, Iran. Please, don't take it out on us. We want nothing to do with any of this. This is your fight. I respect that. I know our government hates us. In my opinion, allegedly, conspiracy theory. Flat on extension. You know what makes me laugh? I have never filed an extension in my entire life. 45 years of income, right? And in order to file an extension, what are your estimated taxes for 2023? If I knew, I wouldn't need an extension. I'm still gathering moss and paperwork, working out the bells and the whistles. What do you mean? Oh, you can have an extension. Uh, just pay us what you owe us. Well, then I might as well file the damn taxes. Can you believe this nonsense? Hunting us down for a few bucks. I can't with them. This is all comedy, by the way. I just react. What are you talking about? Bullets won't feed you. What are you talking about? Sweetheart, we don't have a fighting chance with bullets. We're talking about... Pew. Would you be... Listen. Where, what would be their first... Okay. They always go for debilitating systems, right? The first thing they're going to go for is financial, right? Yeah, exactly. There is no bullets. That's like, it's like those little snap pop rockets. You just throw them on the floor. You know what I mean? Compared to what we're looking at. My question is, first place, is it going to be financial or is it going to be a plant? And you know what I mean by plants. Strategic plants. Strategic plants. Not the kind that grow in the sunlight. The kind that, you know what I mean. We gotta be careful, you know, bots and algorithms. New York, you think it'll be New York? That's what everybody's saying. Somebody in here said, Israel and Iran are just two fronts. It is so much wider. Iraq, Yemen, Syria, and Lebanon. True. True. You're in New York? Yeah, people are saying uh, the financial, cripple the financial. I say they would go for strategic installations like certain because that's what they always do they go straight for airports bridges um let's just say airports and military bases
So I just feel like if anything were to happen, it would happen at night. And chances are, you think we're crippled financially? I think they want you to believe that. I think they want you to believe that. I don't think they have a long range. Well, like I said, they're not gonna be doing it from there. They're gonna be doing it from closer than you think. They're positioned everywhere. This is like the game of risk. You ever played it? And you move your pieces around until you feel like you can conquer? Have you ever played the game? You should play the game. It opens up your mind to uh, how it works. They wait till everyone's strategically placed. They're not like just over there. They're everywhere. Well, what did we do to them? Well, we're about to f, f around and find out if we're moving all our warships into, was it the Red Sea over there? Uh, to protect Israel. We're about to find out. You've played Risk, right? Can you imagine? We have never, like, been this, how do we, how do I even put it? Red alert. Even Homeland Security, what did they say? Hold on. I'll tell ya. They had a, a warning to prepare. Hold on, threat assessment. Terrorism advisory. Okay, what's up? Let me see. Threat assessment, we'll go to threat assessment. The DHS continues to see a high risk of foreign and domestic terrorism in 2024, 20, 24 Homeland Threat Assessment. Today, the Department of Home S Homeland Security. Okay, let me read. You know, like, you have to go to the website because it can be considered misinformation even if you're reading it from the website because I've had that happen before when I've literally read it from the website of the government. All right, what's the current level of threat? Elevated, yellow. The security advisory system threat level is current, currently at yellow. What do we go to red? We go green, yellow, red? Just like a traffic light? This should be orange. No, I know when it'll go red. <laughs> yes, there will be many wars. There will be many wars and many talk of wars before end of times. So we don't even need to go there. You know when you should work, you know when you should really worry if you hear the trumpets cuz you know everybody's talking about the locusts already okay well they like to you know what i mean don't don't know shh that's not even the first trumpet okay it's not the locusts all right so according to a syrian source American air defense activity is reported along the Jordanian-Iraqi border. This one guy in the chat literally is getting all his aggression out on anyone and everybody. There's always that person. Just like when you watch a court case, 
There's always that one person coughing up their whole lung. Always. Always. So there's always an asshole that literally life is just so miserable that they just... Okay, can we calm down with the Bible thumpers? Now he says, um, so says the guy who can't use his own name. So apparently Tad is so happy for everybody to know his name. <laughs> so follow Tad on Facebook, everybody. Somebody over here. Listen, we're watching the live 24-hour mm -hmm, updates. Looking for any activity in Israel, Tel Aviv, well, Safat, Safat, Safed, or Tel Aviv. Uh, and Iran's right here, Tehran. Here's Syria, Jerusalem. Okay? It's on that source, Global News. Uh, they do that. They did it, you know, with the Ukraine thing uh, and Russia. And they're doing it now. Keeping an eye on to see if Iran is going to start be the catalyst and and then we are gonna protect israel supposedly and um what's that gonna do make us all a target so yeah i want to watch that stuff i like to be informed can't hide my head in the sand things are gonna happen regardless and we're just gonna watch and hope for the best and people are saying since eid ended on the, what, 10th, right? The 10th, two days ago. We're at the 40 hour, 48 hour mark. Really 24 hour because it, after Eid is when everybody went on high alert. They were not going to do any of this during their um, holy month. This is um, Source Global News, but there's so many others. They're just doing the live cameras on this channel and that's why I'm watching them. There's only 452 people watching. Um, and these are live cameras that have been compiled into one live stream. 24 hours. So. These are really good because they're not salted. So I don't know, people, I don't know. I'm just looking to see what people are saying. Listen, I'm for innocent people's lives, to be honest with you. That's it. We're all made from God. There's no way. I'm taking a side when it comes to humans and babies and families, just trying to live. I'm not, I'm just not. That would be like, you're against the United States when we have nothing, us people, we have nothing to do with any of this. I'm against world leaders that don't care about human life. The end, I don't care where you sit, God is the way. We're just people, right? We're just people. We just want peace. I will never be romanced into any of that bullshit. I'll never be romanced into it. Never, ever, ever. There's evil and there's good. The end. What was that flash? It was in Syria. Could have been a shooting star. Yeah, and many of those people that live in those countries, they were born there, right? Many of them feel the same way everyone does. They probably all do. They just want to be with their family, live the life God gave them, and not be in constant fear. This is ridiculous. I mean, that's just the way I feel.
Life is better at the beach. I don't know. We definitely get some people with too much time on their hands in the chat. Trying to make friends. This one says, I want to witness World War III firsthand so I can brag to my kids. Listen, with that attitude, ma'am, don't have kids. Do the world a favor. I agree, but we shouldn't be forced to bend through bullying, which is what is happening. Yeah, I can't be bullied. You're behind on Foodie Beauty? What do I think she's doing? Who knows? Being, acting crazy? <laughs> per usual. I think the reason she's staying off YouTube right now, if you ask me in my opinion, like just how I feel, she's trying to set herself up in Canada um, and hopefully break away from the whole Kuwait thing. That's what I'm hoping for. But she's always shocked me before where she just running for a man while her, her health is in dire straits. Maybe, maybe she got awakening when it came to her health. Maybe her family's helping her, right? Yeah, she'd be some. You figured she'd go back? Yeah. I hope she don't, though. I really hope she stays and just gets, you know, her health in order and, like, learn to rely on herself. She's 40, okay? The game's got to stop. Because I feel like if she goes to Kuwait, she ain't ever coming back. It ain't gonna work. I don't know where she's at. Iran has its own issues inside their country. Their people are rebelling against the inhumane regime. It's sad. All of it's sad. And that's why it's like, you know, people would rather not... All right, people would rather be silently wrong about a leader... If you know what I mean, if you know, you know. And ignore the fact that everything's going to hell in a handbasket just so they stay right about their choice in their leader. Okay? There's those people. Then there's other people that go, we've been duped. There's those people. Then there were, you know, then there's the conspiracy theorists that end up just being truth tellers. <laughs> the way I always put it, we're the peasants. Shh. Shh. There's way too many countries involved right now. You are correct. It is probably unavoidable. For real. They just keep aggravating. Exactly, Nancy. Like I said, there's people who know. And they know. Yes. There are no good choices, absolutely. Everybody's got something to gain, except the peasants. Always said that. Shut up, peasants. Just give over your money. Well, hello, Jaxie Poops. Hello, little baby. We got a BB. A little BB. You don't have any teeth. You can't eat anything. Except your doggy food. He's like, damn it. Were you being a good boy? Were you? It's a baby. Actually, he's old. I'm 11 years old. I'm starting to get gray around the muzzle. We are the collateral damage, are we not? They'll all build bunkers on the side of the mountains and under the ground. And we just be out here going... We're on our own now. We're on our own. 
Yeah. He said, don't. These are made in the USA. And it says, from a real authentic oven, fresh pita, handmade. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. I am literally gonna have to, um, they don't use preservatives or any chemical treatments either. I told you I'm always looking at the food I'm about to eat. And then this is Wisconsin. Merck's, since 1950, made with real cheese, cheddar cheese, pasteurized milk, water, and butter, cream, salt. That's it. Well, it means not a factory. It's an actual oven. They're baked in a real oven, like pizza oven. They didn't tell me if it was a wood stove oven, if it was um, a gas oven, electric oven, just made in a real oven. Not a factory. And then broken up into pieces. Thank you, Nancy, so much for the super chat. Well, on the flip side, in two weeks, I'm planting my damn tomatoes and cucumbers and gonna love it and share, share, share. You know what? I was looking at seeds today. Tomato, strawberries. I love a good strawberry barrel. Once you get that thing going, that thing goes crazy every year. I'm thinking about getting a wooden, but what was that flash? Oh, that, I think that's a headlight. Yeah. Um, I am going, yeah, a barrel. I'm thinking about getting a big wooden barrel. You share your garden with the neighbors? You are sweet. I wish it was your neighbor. <laughs> you want to plant some shit? Let's do it. We can't just be our best selves to everyone we love and extend. Yeah, that's all we can do. Yeah, that's all you can do. If you know you have neighbors that, like, are, like, hurting or going through it, when you go to the store, if you, if you can, I know, everybody's not as blessed as you, no madness. No, you'd be amazed that if you start doing kind things for people, you'd be amazed how much you can actually do. It's, it's amazing. You can think that you can't, but yeah, you can yeah, you can. Even if you, like, say you're at the grocery store and you pick up some eggs, right? Well, what are eggs now? I mean, they used to be ridiculous, but what are they? They're back to like a buck or 89 or something. Pick up your neighbor some eggs. Just take them over and say, hey, I was thinking about you. You might need some eggs. It's that easy. Nobody said you have to make their house payment, paint their house, mow their lawn, which is free. Go do that. Oh, it's $5 where you're at? Ooh, we're back down. We're back down to like the two something. Seriously, we are. I mean, it's, if you, that's just a dozen, you know, but if I was gonna get like two dozen, yeah, it's gonna be a little more. But no, we're back down. Yeah, so how hard is that? You, you What? What? Yeah, forget the eggs. Bring some sugar. Peanut butter sandwich. Right. Let's say you find something at the store that's buy one, get one free. Take the other one. Oh, God, I got to look at something. A family member broke their foot. And now comes the pictures. Oh, here we go. Okay. And he's in a cast. Dear God. And there it is. Hold on. Oh my gosh. I may be taking a road trip this weekend. Getting a cast. I mow my neighbor's lawn on both sides. Two years ago, they bought me a self-propelled mower. How sweet is that? Look at that. Look at, like, you did something kind, and then they repaid the kindness by getting you a mower so you can mow their lawn. Love that. 
if someone made me a peanut butter sandwich, I wouldn't eat it. Well, I get that. I, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm weird that way. I don't know what's crawling on their counters, you know. I've seen YouTubers cooking, cats walking around, right? Pick the hair out, put the top back on, bring it over to you. Yeah, I'm not that person either. That's why if it's in a package, awesome. Awesome, I'll accept it all day long. But I don't do potlucks. People know I'm quirky. I stay away from potlucks, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my God, okay, now what? Oh, my Hulu password. I swear, you know what? <laughs> You know why I think I do things for people? Because I love when they need me. I think it is a selfish act at this point. I absolutely love when somebody needs me. I am weird. That's it. Yeah, buffets. I remember one time, it was a long time ago before I had the whole germaphobe, freakophobes, smelly people of phobe, all that shit, okay? So it was before then where I was just kind of la, 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 la in the world, right? <laughs> Anywho, I can't even remember who it was, but it was like the, like a Sunday morning. Hey, let's go to IHOP. Okay. Breakfast. Breakfast buffet. buffet. No, it was a flapjack shack. My bad. I wouldn't even eat at an IHOP. Anywho, it was a flapjack shack. Breakfast buffet. I went in there. Ah, my internet's acting wonky. And listen, I'm paid till June. So don't even come to me about freaking owing a monthly bill. Always messing with me. Oh, okay. So the, the orthopedic surgeon said, if you're going to break your foot, this was the best way to break it. That's awesome. So it wasn't one of those, I hope it heals well and you can walk someday. No, this was the best, best way to break a leg, break, in, break a foot. Jaxie, what? Anywho, we walked into that flapjack shack, sat down, you know, because we're la, 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 talking all the way in. I said, we get seated in a booth. I pan right. I pan right. You know, it was like someone let the barn doors open. I mean, these people literally couldn't even take the time to shower their dirty ass or put on decent clothes to go to the buffet. It was so much. I said, if you think, I'm not even drinking water here. I'm not drinking water here. Are you even checking out the buffet here? Do you see what's slobbering over the buffet? Uh-huh. Mm hmm That's what I was staring at. I said, no. Y'all want to eat off that buffet? And then we took a vote and we left. There, there's one way to get, to get norovirus or dysentery. Not only that, it's just the idea of how, and they're kids, they didn't even like, you know, we'll bring you a plate, what do you want? Scrambled eggs, French toast, pancakes, what do you want? No, the kids are all up in their monkey pond stuff, right? Parents didn't care. I was like, this was like Vegas vacation, Cousin Eddie shit. You had a rat walk down the aisle in the middle of dinner on 89th and Lexington in New York City? I'd have moved. I would have moved. I've seen the rats in New York City and they're nothing to play with, right? They're out there street gambling. I've seen them. And then they had that whole like, uh, you guys still going through that tr tr no trash pickup shit? And the trash just mounds up. They're on strike or whatever the hell they do to not pick up the trash. And the rats are just running through it. I can't do rats. I mean, they're the, they're the size of a cat, right? So if it got in your house, can you imagine waking up, one sitting on your chest, just doing this to you? Mother of God, I'm already itching.
Those are some big ass rats. They film them. YouTube channels film them. And then they had that all that stuff going on at the Roosevelt Hotel and all the garbage with food and stuff in it was piled up outside, um, right on the other side of it, and the rats that were running through there. You think a rat even compares with a, a pincher bug, which we call ear what do they call those? Ear 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 wax bugs, whatever the hell you call them. Not even close. I can do this. Pincher bug. Can you do earwigs? Thank you. Can you do this to a rat? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. Carrying a pizza box down the stairs. I used to work next door to the Roosevelt Hotel. Did you really, Snicks? Pincher bugs don't bother me. Mm -mm. Spiders. We have wolf spiders. Literally, they got their name for a reason. They are hairy and look like a wolf. Like, they could transform at a full moon. They don't even bother me. I like the size of a tarantula. But I won't do rats. You can't do spiders. <gasps> I think spiders are cool. Rats the size of the cats in the UK, too. I'll tell you another thing you don't fuck with is the um, kangaroos in Australia. They're muscular. I seen one tapping on a woman's little window. <coughs> I asked right in him. Ah, uh, a kangaroo, a kangaroo will whip your ass. I seen it. The woman's inside her house. She's filming it. It's stand, standing on both back legs uh, at the window, right? Hands on its hips, looking at her through the window. I said, look at the pecs on that thing. Yeah, I don't mess with moose or elk either. They'll chase you around your car. Making that weird noise. But anyway, so the kangaroo's staring at her. She's staring at the kangaroo. And she's like, what does he want? <laughs> and then the kangaroo goes. As he stared her down. Huh. <laughs> now, I wouldn't mind like seeing that, but not living it. Because the way their hands are, I mean, did you see their claws? They curl over. Can you imagine? It's like a, it's like a, a raptor. It's like, it's like a prehistoric kangaroo. And their pecs are muscular. They even have a shoulder cap and a biceps. And a bicep. And I'm like, they'll just box you. <laughs> like, it's all in one. It's like Mike Tyson, raptor. That thing could open your door, right? We know a bear can. Don't don't live out in the woods in a cabin with brown bear around. Black bear, me, I don't know. They're smaller, but the brown bear, they don't even play. They'll just open your door. They open car doors. They open car doors and get inside. The black bears do too. This husband and wife, like, they looked down. It was nighttime and they looked down at their car under the light in their driveway. And all the windows were steamed. Steamed. Can you imagine looking down in your car and all the windows are steamed and you're like, hmm. The big reds, I don't know which kangaroos I'm talking about, but it's nothing. I, the joeys, is that what they are? The big reds are called joeys. This bear spray don't work. No, it only works on humans <laughs> when we spray each other. The bear goes, that was cute. Now I'm about to fuck you up. You know what I mean? So anyway, this couple, they're looking down, they're, their car's like all steamy, so they call the cops. They're like, somebody's in our car, probably. Right? The cops come. They're shining their flashlights through the steam. Then all of a sudden, this nose broke the steam and pressed against the window, and they go, that ain't, that ain't people. <laughs> That's not people in there. We get, You got an animal in there. They're like, what the fuck? Right? So now you're thinking back to the Tommy boy when they hit the deer and they put it in the back seat because they thought it was dead and then it came to life and just busted out of the car in all directions. That's what you're thinking. There's a bear in my car. He's trapped. He got him, He opened the door and shut the door, but now he can't open the door from the inside. So we got a problem. What's he doing to my seats? Right, he's in there bored. He's tearing apart your dashboard, your seats. Crazy shit. I love watching that stuff. 
Yeah. So then the cops are like trying to figure out, okay, if I open the driver's door, I can hide behind the driver's door. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. Because we know a door only opens so far, right? All the bears got to do is climb out and go around the door and be like, you're done. So anyway, he's like, try, they're trying to figure out because they're like, what's in our car just let it out and they're like let us come up with a plan first <laughs> i know what my plan would have been no i'm kidding i'm just saying you seen that kangaroo video that was gold i must have laughed for 20 minutes straight i couldn't even imagine eyeball to eyeball with a kangaroo and he's tapping on my window like that <laughs> right i want to read his mind what do you want what are we gonna do? You coming in? Am I going out? Oh my God. And you know with their hands, they could just, they can punch you. They make a fist. They could open your door. You know, you're just trying to saunter over, make sure the door's locked. This is why I'm, you know what? If I can teach you anything in this world, even in your driveway, keep your car doors locked, right? Keep your doors locked at all times. We There was a case uh, in Michigan where this guy was having like, a schizophrenic episode and it's a really sad story because he was in a very high state of hallucination no medication unfortunately and he went into these people's house and it was a husband and wife and and their uh, toddler and they were sleeping and he came into their house he broke in uh, because he was having this delusion of this, that, and the other. And it was sad part was, is even 911 was like, they were talking to him by name and they said, listen, we've got people coming to help you. This is not what's going on. Like trying to snap him back into reality and it, and it didn't work. It didn't work. And so your heart is broken, like for all the people involved. And those are the kind of things that, like, you, you ask yourself, why did they close down most of, if not 95% of the facilities that are needed, right? Uh, that's what I ask. You know, there are people out there really suffering and they need help. And it shouldn't be dependent on, you know, what kind of insurance you have and how much money do you have. I can't stand that shit. And you can't, yeah, they, there was no arguing with him. In his mind, what he was seeing was real and nobody could tell him any different. And he would not let the guy, the husband, leave his side. Because you're thinking, well, why didn't, I mean, the wife and the child, he let them leave the house, but he wouldn't let the husband leave his side. Yeah, I've heard about that guy. I didn't know about him until somebody mentioned him in my chat before. He was a YouTuber, right? Yeah. Something else, man. Yeah, it's crazy. They just keep playing with people. You know, can you imagine all those people that were in mental institutions and they were getting the 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 help they needed? They were keeping family members and people out, uh, out you know, safe because they were safe. They didn't have to come out here. They had medications that would help them. And then all of a sudden they're like, well, we're closing. Bye. Good luck to you. That's cruel. That's cruel. Anyway, I don't want to get into that deep shit. I, I prefer like the funny side of life, even though the other side's real. In fact, I have not seen my little old man. You know, the one I always give money to. I'm like really sad. And I thought, oh, I'll see him. It's spring. And if we had two days in a row of 70 some degrees and usually he'll go sit out in his chair. And then, you know, everybody gives him food and money. And, uh, and he's really, really old and he's a veteran. And he's like, he's always blessing our God bless you. God bless you. Right. And I've been like, I've seen him all the time, not in the winter though, but I've seen him all the time for like four years now. And this is the first time I'm like really feeling the heaviness that he may not be back. 
They do need to open them again. I mean, don't you think that, that um, don't you think that like, you know, cities and like people, you don't think like if you did nonprofit, don't you think people would donate and help? You know what I'm saying? Like, I believe they would. I know I would. Because it is sad. They're wandering around in a state of confusion, that kind of stuff. I think that communities would, they, they would definitely donate. So, hmm. makes me wonder. They could have made it an option before they did it. They're like, hey, here we're at. But then when I see how much money we can just give away, I'm like, well, then what? What's the problem? I'm trying to see what... Oh, those are headlights. That must be a wall in Tehran. That must be a wall. These people are all becoming friends in there today. People are like making bets on who's gonna win. Nobody's gonna win. Nobody wins in war. You gamer. I only know he's a gamer because his name tells me he's a gamer. Um, you don't take bets on war. We all lose. Whatever happened to institutions? Well, they were federally funded. So I guess when they decided they weren't going to federally fund them anymore. Right? <laughs> they go, Bye. So, I guess we just don't help our own anymore. You're all on your own. But I think communities would have helped. Well, staffing is, you know, is what it is. Some people do things for less pay for the greater good, right? Of humanity. Oh yeah, there's more. nothing more sexy than a husband that sits in games all day while your kids are running around. <laughs> I mean, that's something you reserve for nighttime, right? Like when your kids are in bed. I don't know, we didn't have internet and shit back then, so. That was their thinking. That was their thinking. Now we're gonna overwhelm hospitals with people that can't function in society or they're a threat to the public. Wow. Did they sell anyone on that? If you even watch what police officers deal with with, with mental health, I'm surprised there's police officers. For real. And a lot of them have kids. And it is some it is something else. Hello, Jaxi Poops. This is the closest I ever come to having a mukbang. I don't mukbang, I snack, and then I'm over it. <laughs> like I don't have an insatiable appetite. But sometimes I like a little snack. Be like, we're going to have dinner probably in about an hour and a half. And you know what I had for lunch? I had two chicken strips from the Chick-fil-A. That was it. No fries. Uh-uh. Just two chicken strips. I, I got three in the box, but I only ate two. Letting mentally ill people be responsible for taking their meds makes no sense. Right. You know, it's sad. There's so much. There's so much that could be fixed. It really could. We got empty buildings everywhere. We've got, I don't know, I guess housing people in five-star hotels um, is more important. Wow. <laughs> wow. But our veterans are sitting in a lawn chair 
out by a main road just so they can get something to eat and maybe enough money to survive for the week. Awesome. I don't usually have meals. I graze like a cow. Me too. I'm a grazer. I'm a grazer. That's it. I like to graze. You know what that's from? I think it's from, like, my career. Um, I literally had to run back and, like, bite on something during a break or while a color is processing, right? Um, so I, I've always learned to graze and eat standing up. Oh, there's so many empty buildings. So many. Just getting swallowed into the earth. Do you ever notice that? Okay, let's talk about it. I like talking about all kinds of shit. Like, you got a paved driveway, right? Let's say uh, the kids, like, kids are on break. Black top parking lot. Kids are on break for two weeks, right? No cars, you know, they don't really go in there. But when a, when a, it's almost like the earth knows there's no vibration anymore. Like when a, when a building's empty and then the earth starts taking over, like it'll break up the parking lot. And you're like, how does that happen? Is it because vibration keeps the weeds and the grass from just overpowering a full cement parking lot? Nobody's driving on it. That always blows my mind. It's like it's like Mother Earth knows that it needs to, you know what I mean? We got to get rid of this. It, that channel has a poll up. Uh, let me see. No, the poll's done, I think. Oh, there it is. Uh, do you believe Iran will attack Israel with a massive attack, limited attack, or no attack? I would say limited, best case. Worst case, massive. Good for you, Mama Bear. I love it. Yeah, in small time. Actually, like, it's so weird to me because what does it matter if a car's parking on there all day or not? And then when it doesn't anymore, the earth will take over. I love that stuff. That's stuff I ask questions about. More intense things than, you know, simple minor shit. You got to run? All right, Snickers. Yeah, I'm going to run too. Um, I just want to tell you guys, if you want to watch 24 hour a day, if you're kind of into um, seeing things firsthand, what's going on instead of guessing. Um, Source Global News is doing 24 hours of, whoops, of Iran and uh, Israel and Syria and Jerusalem, Ramallah. So Ashdod. So just come watch it live live streaming from all those location cameras. And it's the middle of the night, and we know nothing good happens in the middle of the night. If bad things are coming, that's when they come. So they've been streaming for 23 hours and 33 minutes already, and it's predicted between 24 and 48 hours, there may possibly be a retaliation on Israel from Iran. Are we working with China to stop? Well, we'll see what happens. Let's see what promises we can make, um, I suppose. Hi, Rudy. Everybody say hi to Rudy. God bless Rudy. Rudy is, he is our chat clock. He loves to tell us the time and we appreciate it. How long is 44 months? Oh, what do you got? Oh, Rudy's asking Tammy. Um, he likes to throw little riddles at you. Yeah, it's called Source Global News. It says SGN. And their at is, um, I'll show you. Their at is um, just at Source Global. So if you just type in the at sign, capital S, 
source, capital G, global, all one word. It will pop right up for you. It's a blue circle with the SGN. There it is. So they they just do 24-hour cameras. They don't do anything else on that channel. I like watching it because there's no, it's like no nonsense, right? You can choose to listen to the audio or you can just walk by once in a while and see if anything's going on. They do drop polls for you to take, but they're pretty cool, very neutral, um, just cameras all over the Middle East. You found it? All right, Fatima. I like to give you little nuggets if you guys are interested or concerned or uh, you want to um, just stay, I don't know, maybe in the forefront of what's going on without constantly searching for somebody to tell you the truth. Just watch the cameras. I'm all about the cameras like Big Brother. You know, cameras are the way to go. I mean, they got live traffic going by and stuff. They're not on a loop. You don't see the same car going by every 15 minutes? No. You're welcome. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to put my Wisconsin cheese back and my healthy, no chemical pita chips. Go put that shit away. Thank you for hanging out with me. I was bored. You're going to go watch it, B Mike. A wooga. A wooga. A Wooga? What are you, a Model A? A Ford Model A? Anyway, I got to call a person with a broken foot. And then I've got to sass them. Because we sass each other. I'm going to be like, so tell me how this happened. You were wearing shoes you shouldn't have. Slid. Snapped. Crawled your way back. Were well, you wearing shoes you weren't supposed to? I'll get this person laughing. They live for my humor. <laughs> Your husband's making barbecue in the rain. There's nothing better than barbecuing in the rain. You almost feel like it becomes a quest, right? You gotta lift it, you know, hurry up and put your barbecue sauce on before the rain gets in there. It's a whole thing. Or puts the flame out, right? You gotta be pretty good at it. <coughs> <coughs> I told you it's raining out. That's why my allergies are the worst. Spring. We're in for it. I was kind of looking at Ramallah. I, can you click on each one of these? Oh, I did make it big, but look at Ram, Ramallah. Ramallah. Why is it bright now? It's still dark time in the Middle East. They do refresh. Um, is that the is that the lights in the city? Huh. I love I love watching this stuff. I like to watch weather too. All right, guys, love y'all. Come back again sometime. You hear me? All right. Time to close the barn doors. Get back in your stall. See you later. Bye.